I-80 is still closed in both directions between Colfax and the Nevada border. All trucks were turned around. ABC 10's Van 2 was in Applegate last night talking with truck drivers working the holiday. He bears a striking resemblance to Santa Claus. Gregory Ho will admit to that. I get that look at Walmart. A lot of <laughs> kids look at me, especially in November, they start looking at me like, could he be? And I just smile, at, you know, it's like. And his job certainly helps get food and treats on the holiday dining table. We do eggs, frozen, meat, ice cream, candy. But he's adamant he's not Santa or one of Santa's helpers, but a hard-working truck driver of 38 years. Truck drivers, we don't stop. We, we work. We don't do a five-day a week. You know, you work and you drive 11 hours during the day and you just do what needs to be done. This Christmas, Hogue passing time watching YouTube videos. The I-80 corridor closed over the Sierra Pass due to low visibility. While he's critical of California regulations, he says... It's our job. On top of the already grueling work, truckers experiencing a tough year with supply chain issues, sky high gasoline prices, and labor shortages. The American Trucking Associations estimate 80,000 drivers are needed to meet freight demand. No enough trucks, no enough trailers, no enough drivers, you know. Mohammed Kabalov says it's put a strain on his small trucking company, an enterprise he started when he emigrated from Uzbekistan three years ago. Despite the squeeze, he says he's passionate about his work and the opportunities it affords. I have been everywhere, in all states except the Alaska, Alaska and the Hawaii. <laughs> And with so much time spent away from their families to keep America moving, Hogue asks for one thing in return from drivers on the road. Please stop cutting off trucks. We do not, we cannot stop as fast as, as cars.